so I'm starting off by wiping her face and I'm using a micellar cleansing water I got from Primark it's very cheap but a girl has to save some coins and for moisturizer I'm going to be using the elf hydrating moisturizer I'm just going to massage this into her skin evenly because we need some moisture back into the face since it's very dry and some of these cleansers could be drying as well so always moisturize after you cleanse your face and then I'm going in with, uh, with the makeup obsession hydrating priming oil and this would be my primer this is going to be my base for the foundation and I'm doing the same thing once again I'm just massaging this into her skin just to prep for the whole look and now I'm setting it with the priming water from Makeup Revolution. Moving on to foundation. I use two foundations, which is the Milani and the Rimmel. I mix the two to get her perfect shade to match her neck. So I'm blending it out all over her face. Please don't forget to comment like and subscribe if you like my videos as well and then we'll be moving on to concealer I believe I use two concealers I use the um, Fenty Beauty Pro filter in the shade 350 and the L'Oreal infallible concealer in the shade honey and then I used the Fenty Beauty on uh, um, near her, her tear dot eye area because I want that place to be very bright and then I went in with the um, L'Oreal at the outer part because I don't want that place to be very bright so that is what I did and now I'm blending it and I'm just using my beauty blender I'm just um, stomping it upon Hey, I know it's very buffo, I think so, but I'm just like you know dabbing it on the place where I place my concealer in it and also on her eyelids today for the eyeshadow. I'm not going to be using any eyeshadow primer except just this concealer that I'm going to put on her face. So um I also highlighted the bridge of her nose, the forehead, and also her chin area, and so I'm going to just blend it out. And basically you just have to you know dab the beauty blender make sure it is a little bit damp you can use setting spray to make it damp or water I use whatever is inside at the time and then to contour I'll be using the L'Oreal infallible concealer in the shade truffle and then I'm just going to be using my contour brush to blend this out into the foundation and the and the highlighted areas I feel like I was seeing something before and now I'm going to set her face using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder I like to set the concealer first before I actually like you know bake if I'm gonna bake but I always like to set it and this is like the perfect powder for me and to set it I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution setting powder in banana and I'm actually going to um, bake i don't really like baking but because i have not done her eyeshadow i want to bake and you know the loose powder can catch the leftover eyeshadow on uh, that will fall under her eyes and now i'm just going in with the i don't know what i just went in with but i believe it's the fenty beauty powder just to also set the contour areas as well yes it's the fenty beauty powder in the shade 95 and then for reverse contour I'm going to use my Inglot powder I feel like this powder is very good for my reverse contour and this is the shade dark and are you subscribed why are you not subscribed why are you not subscribed and then for the eyeshadow she said she wanted I think a purple or mauve look so I'm waiting with the eye magic 
um, 30 color eyeshadow palettes and I use the um, I think claret for my transition shade and I'm just going to put this um, on the space a little bit above her crease line and then I'm just going to blend it out till I like what I see again eyeshadow is based on your preference how you want your pigmentation and your placement it's all based on your preference but then I went in with the to the uh, makeup revolution X um, Tami tropical eyeshadow palette and I went into the um, mauve shade I'm digging in just at the outer corner of her eyes to deepen it else and also extend it to a little bit on the crease line and then in the same in the same palette I'm going to use the shade called um, girlies that would be my um, I that would be like my shimmer shade I'm going to be used and I'm not cutting the crease or anything I'm just going to generously spread it on her on her eyelids and just you know see how how I like it and I believe this is how I even left it also guys why am I editing and I realize her eyelashes was not on well I feel like every time I'm look like when we are doing the look and I'm looking into the camera I feel like everything looks good then I go to edit the picture and it's like oh but her eyeshadow is there oh but her eyelash though so please pardon me but basically I'm right now I'm going back into into claret which is the eye magic palette and then I'm just blending out the uh, what's it called the transition shade and now I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter in the shade 450 I'm just going to use this to set her whole face I'm also gonna have to um, wipe the the loose powder so I'm just setting the whole face and you know making everything look Mwah. that was so unnecessary <laughs> And to contour, I'm using the same powder, the Fenty Beauty powder in the shade 4, 4, 4 450. Yes, oh my god, I'm sorry. I literally just woke up and I decided to do this voiceover. But that is what I'm using to contour because again, we don't like a harsh contour and she's not very dark. And um, for bronzer, I'll be using the, the uh, Makeup Revolution. Um, bronzing powder in the shade dark oh and the reason why I'm not showing the product is because oh this is my first time using my Canon M50 and I think my exposure was too high so when I show a product it just brightens up the product and you don't see the details of the product which is why I'm not showing it but anyway I'm blushing her face right now and I'm using an eyeshadow I got from makeup revolution this is the reloaded neutrals palette too and then I, I was just going in with the orange eyeshadow in there and then for the highlighter I'm going to be using the makeup revolution face quad highlighter and that is what I use as highlighter and I'm just going in with the inner tear dots uh, and I'm just going to you know put something there so guys please pardon my eyelash okay Anyway, for the lips, I'll be using the Makeup Revolution lip liner in the shade Glory, and then I'll also be using the sheer the sheer Brilliant lip glow in the shade Tenor, I believe. And then I'm just going to right now I'm lining her lips, and then I'll use the lip glow in between her lips, and then after that, um, I'm going to use I'm going to use a clear lip glow I got from. Um, makeup revolution no i mean nyx the clear lip glow i used today was from nyx this is everything and then i'll just use that to marry the two her lip liner and the lip glow together so that they look very nice and then i'll be setting her face and i'm using the makeup revolution during setting spray and Sarah that was too much I don't know sometimes I get happy when I'm setting people's face so I'm like fu, 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 fu. I keep pressing it but anyway we are done with the video and if you enjoyed it please don't, do not forget to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next tutorial bye